you go. Hardy housewife for yeah. there, babe. All right, Hardy. got it, got oh, it. Oh, 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 whoa, hey. Thanks for joining us this evening. Mm. We didn't even know you were coming. Wow. Here's to chastity. Chastity. Everyone, I love some conjugal chastity. Nothing's more romantic than some good mm. conjugal chastity. Who doesn't love some good conjugal chastity? Here's to you. Hey, welcome. We're finally like getting in to the meat and potatoes of this yes. retreat. We've talked a lot about holiness. Mm -hmm. How much Lots more could holiness. we possibly talk about yeah. holiness? Yep. We've, we've beaten the holy horse We're like, oh, three death. secrets, three secrets, but they're not talking about the secrets. Where are the secrets, you ask? Yeah. Mm. Well, today we start with secret number one. And the question is, what is chastity? And know. you're probably thinking, I know what chastity is because I read all about Christopher West. I went to a Theology of the Body conference before. I did some stuff with some people. And John Paul II is my spirit animal. So mm. I know all <laughs> about chastity. Can you, uh, can you say that? I can say some things. Okay, great. Yeah, so chastity. What the heck is chastity, right? Like, and I think we may sometimes just write this off saying like, okay, we already heard, right. heard this message. And you probably have heard this message. Or but, I'm married, so I've checked chastity off my list. Like, I'm done with that piece. Now it's just kind of like, woo, anything woo, goes. Party! Hey! Which life is a party, especially if you're life married to Amber. Life is amazing. So conjugal chastity, though, is so interesting, right? Uh, today in our reading, you reflect on Chastity is ultimately the virtue of giving and receiving love in an authentic way. The giving and, and receiving love according to God's original plan. And I just, mm -hmm. I absolutely am blown away by tonight's message. That today we reflect on the fact that the chastity is about living not simply with another, mm -hmm. but for another. Like, I just wonder if like in your marriage, like if you think about that, right? Like I think a lot of times we like we hear this message that we're like teammates, we're on the same team, yeah. which is true. We're, we're living life together. But have we ever thought that we are living life for the other? It's not about the with, it's about the for. And, and I think the key to happiness is getting away from the with and to the for. Imagine if your everyday life with your spouse wasn't thinking like, Oh, what is this person doing for me? But what am I doing for them? Right? And it would radically change things that like your, your whole paradigm has shifted. And that's why JP two reflects so often on that verse from God, he mm -hmm. that man only discovers who he is through a sincere gift of self Though we will never really even know what it means. Not, not just to be married, but what it means to be human mm -hmm. unless we give ourselves to others. Yeah. So often we wonder, what is my purpose? How can I find fulfillment in life? Mm. And it's so radically countercultural totally. that our purpose is death. We die to ourselves and we give that sincere gift of self. And it's so true that in and through that gift, we truly find our joy and fulfillment. So instead of going through our day with our own agenda, and these are the things I need to get done. <laughs> Here comes a child down the stairs. And, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll pick up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got interrupted by one of our kids. So, this is the this is the truth about life. And I wanted to share this with you. Um, God gave you two eyes, and they're on the outside of your body, looking outward. He didn't give you two eyes to look inward. And I think if we make this shift, where we actually shift our eyes from being inward-focused to outward-focused, we discover what real and authentic love is. And chase love is all about being so intently outward focused that my eyes are always looking on the other. But here's here's the beauty. It's not simply about giving love. It's about giving and receiving love. Mm -hmm. So wives, if you're not receiving your husband's love, you are not living chastely. Husbands, if you're not receiving your wife's love, you are not living chastely. That it's not just about the giving. But there's also something profound about the receiving. And a lot of times I think it's it's really challenging um, for husbands and wives to give and to receive love. So God is so good and uh, we are, um, we're, we're blessed <laughs> with children tonight. There's one on the stairs. So enjoy, enjoy your reading and your retreat to this evening. God bless. <laughs>